Oh my god, yes, that smells amazing. Oh yeah, this coffee. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Oh man. Welcome everyone, my name is Junette. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, I tend to make videos around travel, photography, and coffee. And today's video is a very interesting video on coffee. Folgers coffee. You might be thinking ever since I moved to California, the taxes are so high, the cost of living so expensive that I resorted to drinking some uh, Folgers coffee on the daily and that is not the case. So long story short, being the coffee geek that I am, my uh, coworkers from my past job before I came here decided it would be funny to gift me some, uh, some of the best specialty uh, farm to table, organic, non-GMO, specially roasted Folgers coffee. And initially I thought, well, I think I'm just gonna take this and, and toss it. So then I thought to myself, well, why don't I take this Folgers coffee and at least try it? You know, throwing it out would be a waste. And the last time I've tried Folgers coffee, I can't even remember the last time. It was probably at some hospital somewhere. And <laughs> that right then and there just gives me negative memories about Folgers coffee. So I figured, you know what? Let me try this. Let me, uh, let me take a look at what Folgers Classic Roast is all about. With that said, I'm gonna take this Folgers coffee and I'm gonna make it the way that most people make their coffee. Using your standard filter coffee machine. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, no pour overs, no fancy gizmos, you know, that type of thing. Just Folgers coffee in a classic American filter coffee machine. So we're gonna see, is this even worth your uh, gastric reflux for the morning or not? According to this package though, it says Folgers Classic Roast, America's number one packaged ground coffee. Yeah, let's see about that. So before I made this video, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't completely losing it and uh, to see if other people had a similar idea about Folgers and the comments were pretty accurate. It's quite funny how some people use like the same word to describe it. Uh, I asked people describe Folgers coffee in one word and I had two people that said gross, two people that said dirt, uh, somebody said trash, Folgers, <laughs> Folgers, travel saver which I'm still trying to figure that one out. And then <laughs> I can't even say this one. Uh, it's, it's a little graphic. So guys, as we go along, I'm gonna tell you and point out some of the things that I, from the start, can tell why this is gonna be the worst coffee that I've ever tasted in my life. First things first, it is ground, all right? Ground coffee loses, and you can look up the stats on this, loses its aroma by X amount compared to whole beans. Okay, so we're gonna do a little smell test here. Let's see first. That looks okay. Dude, I don't know. It's so underwhelming. Like there's literally no smell coming out of this thing. All of you guys that said it tastes like dirt, well, it looks looks like dirt, but it has absolutely no smell, so now it kind of resembles dirt more. Yeah, maybe if I give it a stir, a little stir action, maybe it's gonna release some of those aromas. Nothing, nothing. This is America's number one packaged ground coffee. Please don't make me vomit. All right, so in good Californian fashion, we're gonna, we're gonna fill up our coffee machine with two cups of water using a very hipster uh, glass water bottle that I got from Ikea, or Ikea, however you wanna pronounce it. But this is the hipster Californian way, so we have to do it. I think that's about two cups. Close it for safety. <laughs> All right, so here we go, two cups of water. Now, the meter's on this side, so here we go. We're gonna shoot for two cups, see how my hipster uh, ways did. So one trick I learned with these filter coffee machines is that if you're gonna make two cups, put a little bit more water, 2.2, 2.3, 2 
whatever you want to call it because the water some of the water is going to get stuck in the grounds and your coffee is going to be a little bit stronger so two cups 2.2 cups turn that over got ourselves not white but brown coffee filters what is the difference the difference my friend is that you are now a hipster oh my god i hope my dad's not watching me right now he's gonna be like what in the world my son has lost it they're gonna be like dude this guy moved to california and he he's he's in his own mind now he's he's drinking he's putting folders coffee in his coffee machine he's gonna have to like wash this thing out with pure alcohol so we're gonna go two scoops just a little bit more for the extra flavor oh man put that there blast off the Folgers way guys cannot wait okay so guys while this machine makes some scary noises and brews the best coffee in the world I'm gonna tell you that with Folgers coffee the number one issue is that it's ground so you lose like so much aroma so much taste the coffee just sits there for god knows how long on the shelf and then you bring it home and you're just so underwhelmed so the best thing to do and you can mark my words for this buy a coffee grinder go to the store get some whole beans and grind the beans on the spot. Like it, it really makes a huge difference. And I know it might cost a little extra money, but it's really gonna be worth it. So one more thing that I wanted to say about getting like the freshest coffee and making the, the best coffee you possibly can at home is, you know, when you go to the store, look for, obviously like I said, whole bean coffee, and then look on the package and see when the coffee was roasted. Like if I look around this thing, it. It doesn't say anything about when it was roasted. So has this been sitting on the shelf for a year, two years, three years? So yeah, go to the store, find some uh, some beans that tell you, you know, usually you want them roasted like, uh, they don't have to be roasted yesterday because they do need a couple days to kind of, uh, whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, make sure like the, the beans have been roasted like within a week, within two weeks, even within three weeks, I've had like really great results. Um, really good tasting coffee. So yeah, let's uh, let's try this full jazz. So I've let the coffee sit for a little bit because you don't want to drink this thing when it's piping hot and you're going to burn your tongue. <sighs> Am I ready for this? I think my taste buds are going to be scarred and the coffee is just never going to taste the same way again. Oh, uh, let's see. Like once again, there, there's no smell. Like the aroma is just gone. And honestly, like when I usually make coffee, this whole apartment just fills up with the most beautiful coffee smell. I don't even know. All right. Oh, oh my God, dude. <clears throat> diesel, bro. It's like straight diesel. What is this? These are not fake facial expressions, man. These are like... It's so bitter. I know people who drink Folgers. And probably a lot of you watching this, well, not a lot of you, but if you two recommended this video to you, you probably drink Folgers. I'm not hating on anybody who drinks Folgers. I'm not hating on Folgers. But how can you guys drink this stuff? Like, <laughs> I think the only way you guys are able to drink this is because you put creamer in it. I don't care if they gave this out for free. I would not buy, I would not take this. Maybe if I drink it faster, it's gonna taste better. I think that, I think that made it worse. All right, let me, let me, let me really give this one a try. Let me just, here we go. 
All right, we gotta dump this. One, I don't know how people drink this. Two, I don't know how you can pay money for this. Three, there's so many better options on the shelf that don't start with folders. Guys, like I said, I know people who drink folders. I'm gonna give you the benefit of that. I know you put some creamer in there to mask this. I know it's more cost effective, but it really just isn't worth staining your teeth for, you know? I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I, I had maybe a little expectation that maybe this would be good because, you know, why not? But this was far from good. And that was the medium roast. Can you imagine trying to drink dark? I really want to hear if you drink the dark roast of Folgers, I really want to know what <laughs> you think of it in the comments because the medium roast was just straight up gasoline. Um, so, and mild probably just tastes like water. They probably just, you open it and it's water. Looks like, looks like a latte. Nah, no, it should be way better, right? Oh, okay. I think the best way to describe this is like when you go to the gym and you sweat and you smell like you know what, and then you try to put some Axe body spray on top of it, that's what this tastes like. Well guys, now that I got my teeth dirty and my stomach's about to explode from this pure acid going right through it, um, I wanna take this time to thank you for watching this. Hopefully you found this relatively entertaining. And you know, honestly, I found this uh, very educational because I've always looked down on Folgers and I still do after today. You know, I was just actually thinking maybe I should give, instead of throwing this Folgers out, maybe I should give this one more shot. Maybe I should take this Folgers that's left and make some cold brew coffee with it. What do you think about that? If you want me to do that, write down in the comments, make cold brew coffee with Folgers and I'll do it. I'll do it and I'll go over the same, uh, same style review and we'll see if it's any good as cold brew. So yeah, thank you guys. And I'm gonna drink this beautiful, beautiful um, creamer. Smash that like button, hit subscribe. That's the least you could do for for me doing this, you know? Uh, this, this is good coffee. Yo, babe, is the camera off? I'm about to throw this thing out the window. <laughs>